yeah yes sir okay. so tell me what are the universal gates available uh, uh in the gate level uh, we are having a nand gate and a nor gate okay so why do we call them universal gate uh using the nand gate and uh, universal logic we can build any digital logic so we call it as a universal logic so suppose i want to make an expression a plus a bar b yeah using nand gate only okay you have to implement this expression using nand gate only okay a plus a bar b so me okay okay now tell me uh, what is a full adder circuit so so full adder circuit we can take uh, two we can add two binary inputs using the full adder circuit and uh, half adder circuit um half adder circuit just a sec in half adder circuit there is no carry in only we have a two binary inputs when full adder we have we also have a carry ins but earlier you did not mention it yeah in half adder it contains only two in binary inputs in full adder it contains along with two binary inputs we also have a carry in okay so can you write down the truth table for full adder output the sum output of full adder yeah write down the truth table for sum output of full adder Okay, now draw JK flip flop using NAND gates. JK flip flop. Yes. Uh, can I explain orally, sir? Can I tell orally or should I? Sh yeah, you can show me. Okay, yeah. Uh, for JK00, we are getting uh, next uh, output, next uh, state QN plus 1 as Q1, QN. Yeah, I can see, sir. Okay, so what is this race around condition here? So the race around condition occurs uh, if we, if there is any uh if the input changes between the in the uh, so if if it changes uh, multiple times uh in input the active changes block, multiple times uh, mm, uh like if there is a if there is an input change uh, if, if any input changes in the active clock not in active clock sir in the enable clock so if the output also changes accordingly uh, this is not the required condition we want. The output should not change uh, if any uh, changes in the in change in the input. What is ring counter? Um, ring counter is a kind of uh, shift register in which uh, uh, 
the one uh, the the bit one will be passed uh, sequentially uh, from one flip flop to another flip flop so generally it can be used as a frequency divider circuit so suppose we have three bit ring counter okay and we apply 800 kilohertz frequency so what will be the output Or we have 900 kilohertz input frequency, suppose. Okay, for 900, it will be 900, 900 by 3. So, 300 kilohertz. And then what is Johnson counter? It's a twisted ring counter. So, where the the last flip-flop uh, complemented output will be taken as, it is again fed to the first flip-flop. Okay. Now, suppose we have a D2A converter. Okay. And this D2A converter is co connected with V-reference 8 volt. Okay. And it is 3 volt, sorry, 3 bit, eight, 3 bit rack. Okay. Okay. Now, suppose we have a state diagram Q1, Q, Q2, Q1. A state diagram Q2, Q1. That is 0, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. Sorry, can you explain again the state diagram? Q1 is 0, 0, then 1, 0, then 1, 1, then 0, 1, then 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1 and 0, 0, okay. So this is the state diagram of some circuit. Okay, counter. This okay. Circuit. Now this output uh, we have a DAC, three bit DAC, na. Okay. In this DAC we have D uh, two connected with Q two. Okay, D two is connected with Q two, and D one is grounded. D two. D node is connected with Q one. D2 is connected with Q2, okay. D1 is counted, and D node is connected with Q1. So these are the input of the DAC. Okay. Okay, now draw the waveform, observe, add the output of this DAC. If successive clock pulses are applied in the counter. Initially, Q2, Q1, you can take 0, 0. Okay. Take Q2, Q1 is equal to 0, 0 initially. Now, successive clock pulses are applied. Then what will be the output waveform? Uh, sir, D3, sir. D3, is it a... Are it D2, D1, D0. Three input are there, na? D2 okay, is okay, fine. okay, okay, fine, fine. Sorry, sir. D2, D1, D0. Q2, Q1. Sir? Yes. Yeah. So we are taking Q2, Q1 as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, right, sir? Yes. So 0, 0, first 1, are... 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Yeah. So first we are getting, uh, we are giving the digital input as 0, 0, 0, and the corresponding uh, analog output will be 0 volt. And uh, when we are giving a uh, 100, zero, zero. then the corresponding analog output will be 4 volt. We just have drawn in a very crude manner here. Here, like this. Okay. Okay. So your interview is over now. Okay, sir. So almost you have a good basic knowledge in digital. Just revise all the flip flops. Okay, sir.
okay basic circuit they can ask you to draw the circuit also using okay. nand gate we from the nand gate we can design all the flip flop na okay yeah. and difference That's... between flip flop and yeah. latch difference between clock flip flop and level triggered flip flop and race around condition master slab flip flop this topic is to be revised again okay okay yes sir rest i hope you know the basic concept you can do it okay okay i will look into it uh... the question they ask basic question and uh, also revise microprocessor basic 8085 basics okay sir okay. like uh, yeah. what uh, kind of questions might be asked in a microprocessor some basic some basic instructions pin diagram flex or interrupts might be uh, also uh, the um, uh, like there is a question like addressing the memory chip like uh, they may ask you yes couldn't able to get they uh, may address ask. decoder i think yeah how much you can learn try chip to chip selection uh, like yes a chip selection kind of question might also ask yes, right yes, yes yes what decoder might use what yeah, are do you know any tool like matlab or any other tool do you use uh in my uh, masters i used uh, uh, the xilinx sir vivado for uh, implementation of hardware in verilog okay. and okay. also cadence for analog ic design okay so you are from ec background na yeah ec background so communication uh, to prepare communication okay sir Technology my masters sir. is in vlsi domain sir yeah then digital electronics they will ask and verilog they can ask something about basic yeah. verilog or uh, this uh, cmos also micro this analog circuit they will ask sorry sir cmos cmos analog yeah yeah uh, yeah yes sir i also want to tell that uh, if they if they ask any favorite subjects then one of the subject is digital ic design sir which is my mtech subject so, so in that i can ask you question from that yeah yeah it may basically it starts with cmos inverter and implementing the logic using cmos building the combinational sequential circuit and uh, it also involves the static timing analysis like setup time hold time all those things will be there in that okay so you are so, doing uh, mtech from which college from iit madras sir iit madras uh, yeah i completed mtech so okay. i just trying for this okay so you can do one thing uh, you can prepare a set of questions and you can write down the answers from your particular research area and then you give the interview we will ask question from that